Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. How is everybody doing? Man, I'm doing so good. Look at me. I'm full of diamond armor. I can't be any better than I am right now. Me and Bubbles and Mango have been chit-chatting over here talking about the weather and how beautiful it is in this world. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I'm doing so good. But you know what? Big old thank you. Big old amazing hug to everybody in the last episode. I th so many awesome comments. You guys are awesome. Uh, I'm going to see if I can scatter some throughout the episode of, of things that you guys will want to see in Minecraft. You guys were answering questions questions uh, based off like my answers that we did in the Q&A. Super fun, super amazing. You guys also gave me amazing suggestions for panda names and I'm going to go ahead and run over to our panda area uh, and I'm going to show you what names we got for those five lovely little balls of loveliness. Give me a second. Let's go over there real fast. I'm going to show you some names. Wait, where's your owner at? I thought you guys were supposed to despawn. You're not despawning no more. Where's your owner? He's left? Aww. You better not despawn. I heard you guys despawn. Can I ride you? Oh, you so not. Oh, I guess not. Bye then. Oh, baby. There they are right now. Look how many. I'm stuck. Look how amazing. He's still playing. Oh, he's, oh, man. He's always doing that, this guy right here. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four. All of them are there. Is that off the fight? Show me. Yes, they're all here. I don't know why they're climbing up there. Get down. We got this guy playing, and then we got them up there. So right now, I'm going to flash on screen all the names from you guys that you suggested. And then here they are in person. So right here, we got Mochi, baby. Mochi, what's up, Mochi? Mochi's the has This had to have been Mochi, right? The one that is always on their, on their back doing some kind of play thing. Here, just eat. You may give me some food. Here you go. Eat. Mochi, eat. Stop playing around. I guess Mochi likes to play around. Now, let's go up to the top. We have right now... Who are you? Oh, it's Poe, everybody. <laughs> we had 75 to 85 people literally coming. We need Poe. Oh, God, Poe, you're going to jump on top of me. This is Poe right here. Right uh, There you go. Kung Fu Panda at your service. The ninja of the mall. Oh, was Poe a ninja or a samurai? I think it was a samurai. What, Kung Fu and samurai. I don't know. Whatever. Um, Kung Fu. Kung Fu Panda. But a Kung Fu artist... Ninjas or samurai? Or are they both? Or are they own little type of thing? I don't know. Let me know down below in the comment section. And this is... Hold on. The shaders don't let me see it. It's Oreo. The shaders don't let me see it. This is Oreo right here. So a bunch of people comment Oreo. Get down, Oreo. Don't hurt yourself, though. Uh, and then we got over here. This is Haru. There you go. You know what? A bunch of people said Haru. Even Haru said Haru. Get down, Haru. You... Oh! Sorry. Sorry, Haru. Uh, and then we got Pan Pan. You know what? I'm naming this one because if you remember from last season, for all my friends who've been here for a long time, last season, season one, episode five, I believe, we did go into a bamboo forest. Just to go ahead, we, we checked it out in a snapshot. We never saved the world, but we did kidnap a baby panda. We called him Pan Pan, and Pan Pan is officially here. Look how cute eyes. It looks like he's kind of like crying, but not crying. It's kind of like, like almost like, uh, what was the name of that, that cat? From um from Shrek, um Pussy Boots. I got the Pussy Boots eyes. Ah, so cute. This is Pan Pan, everybody. So we have everybody. Ow! What's up, Poe? Uh, so yeah, um, that hurt my feelings and my legs hurt. I think I broke something. Uh, but here we go. We got all our pandas names. So thank you, everybody, for all the amazing names. Don't worry. I'm going to keep a list of all the other names we didn't pick. And if we have more pandas, we're going to add them along the way. So thank you so much. These are the most amazing names. Are you still on your back? Can you have some breakfast, please? Look how cute. <laughs> That's so awesome. All right. You know what? Let's get back to our area and let's start our build for the day. Uh, and, you know, oh, there's my anvil. I've been looking all over for you, anvil. I brought him here. I did the name. Okay. Let me, let's get back. Oh, and let me show you uh, the name of our brand new fishing rod. The most OP fishing rod in the history of fishing rods. And, uh, and see who got that name. Where's your owner? Love tap. <laughs> you gonna spit on me? You stupid. All right, and here it is. We named our fishing rod, and thank you for all the amazing suggestions. This one just stood out to me because you know what? I, I do the YouTubes. You know, this was this is actually it, it felt right. So thank you so much, Protune, for coming up with clickbait. <laughs> that's so that's, that's a perfect play on words too. We click overnight, AFK and bait fishing rod. You know, it, it makes sense. So thank you so much. That was awesome. So uh, that was a really good suggestion. Also, if you notice, uh, I did enchant. Well, not enchant because I don't have an enchanting table, but I did combine books uh, to make a pretty decent pickaxe let me know right now what do you think um that's all we got <laughs> that's it i don't have any more uh because then i also made a, a beautiful little shovel i used one of my six remaining dimes so now i only have five left so i made a silk touch um uh, 
show. So with that silk touch we got on the last uh, AFK session, it's gone, but it's now in a lovely old shovel. So we can get a bunch of awesome stuff with this. We can get regular grass and we can go ahead and harvest some of that awesome pod zone that we can use it for our terraforming. So awesome. So really quick in the comment section right now, Guess what I'm gonna ask you? Yep, I'm gonna ask you right now. You gonna go ahead and come over here, name my pickaxe, name my shovel. So put hashtag pickaxe, give me a cool name. Hashtag shovel, give me a cool name for that. And you know what? We're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and pick that on the next episode. But today we got work to do. I promise on the last episode we're gonna be doing a animal pen, an animal pen dojo, and it's coming. And if you do notice, we do have a lot of mushrooms around here. No, I don't think I'm gonna keep these mushrooms around here. But guess what we've been doing? I've been collecting these stems and check this out. Yes. So I've been collecting from the last time and I'm going to be using this mushroom stem, which is a beautiful and amazing suggestion. I forgot who it was, but I'm going to find you. Uh, I don't I don't really want this red one thing. I just want this. Uh, but I've been collecting these. So we're going to be using this as a wall, almost like a paper wall. And it's going to be awesome. The cool thing about doing these mushrooms here, uh, it, it we get so many mushroom blocks. Watch, well, so many mushrooms from these mushroom blocks. Watch this. Watch this. You ready? What? You ready? Watch this. Look, look how much we're gonna get. Look how much we're gonna get. Look how much we're gonna get. Check this out. I got already 37. So all you gotta do is plant them on the puzzle. That's it. Plant them on the puzzle. They grow up, and we get a bunch more. And it's super renewable because look, look how much we get. Look at this. Oh, I'm got X. You're gone. I'll, I'll fix that later. Rip X. Can we get an F? In the, in the chat for the X. Uh, but I moved all these ugly boys over here, these stupid. No, I love you guys. Mm, I'm playing. Mm, you're the best. But I got all my stuff ready to go. But here, this is going to be the outline. Where is my scaffold? Did I bring my scaffold? Oh, no. Where's my scaffold at? I got to go. Is it here? No. Okay. Oh, and we got. I think this is a good amount of mushroom stem for now, but we're, we're definitely going to need some more. But this is the outline. I don't have. I don't know where my stuff is at. Okay. Um. There's the owner. Did you see me slap your llama a little while ago? I hope you didn't. What do you got for sale? Uh, nope. Uh, nope. I got an AFK fish farm. This would have been good about a week ago, buddy. Uh, and nothing else. Podzo. I get free Podzo. I would like the brain coral block. Um, but I don't got no emeralds. Sorry. Can I slap your llama again? No? Okay, bye. Uh, <laughs> so that's super awesome. Yeah, let's go. Um, so this is what I have in mind. Let's check this out. So right here if you saw the outline on the last episode i pretty much just had these sticks or what am i calling them? these are logs so i had these logs uh in these positions but i went ahead and i gave it a little bit of a of a base so this is a three wide base going all the way around we got the polish here for now uh and i'm thinking about pulling this polish all the way around and it's every other two so we're keeping in theme with what we were doing over there show it bam there you go up to find thank you we're gonna do that theme as well keep it going over here uh only thing is i gotta knock these down all the way around like a so bam bam there we go so something like this all the way around and then we're going to come back and bring that polished back in here uh oh actually no you know what no 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 i'm gonna close this off i, I think i'm gonna pop it out one more time yeah yeah let's pop, let's pop this out one more time hold on a minute let's see well let me get my materials let's start this out let's start building right this instant and we're gonna do a little bit of a step up going over here i'm gonna close off this back end but oh hold on i'm also need another axe Hold on, let me get another, let me, let me get prepared. All right, we're ready to go. Oh, another thing I forgot to show you guys. I actually combined some bows. So check this out. We got a power five punch to flame unbreaking infinity bow. That is so cool. Let me know down below. Put hashtag bow. Let me know what I should call that. Bad boy, sweet boy right there. It is very OP and it's amazing. Let's, let's go ahead and kill one of these. No, let's not do that. Where's the wandering trader? <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that, but it's pretty good bow. It's really, really good. Uh, but you know what? Let's start doing this. So I'm thinking about doing this right over here. So this was just pretty much placeholder for now, but I'm going to take this up. I'm going to do a three. We're going to do a three on this side. We're going to go up by three on every single one of these bits. And we're going to do those little bit of details that we love to do that we did on the last one. And we're going to go all the way around like so. So let me go ahead and do this real fast. I'm just going to swing this around and we're going to go ahead and work on a little platformy bit. Uh, and then we'll do the interior together. This is going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. Let's go. 
go. All right, here we go. We got it all set up, looking really, really cool. A little bit of texture on the ground and everything is looking awesome. Now, the only thing I'm gonna come in here and drop a little bit of these lovely fences. We're doing dark uh, oak this time. I think we did spruce on the other one. So it's gonna look pretty cool. Uh, I wanna use more uh, well, more dark oak on the roof instead of the spruce like we did here. It's more primarily spruce. I wanna use dark oak mostly uh, for this one, just to make it stand out a little more, but keep it in the same um, construction though, but just change it up a little bit. Uh, uh, and it's gonna be a cool roof because this one is a big boy. It's a big long roof. Uh, and it's gonna stand out a lot. Uh, plus, it's gonna not be a two story. I don't think it's gonna be two story. Uh, we might have a little lofty area on the top, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where we go from here. Uh, but it's gonna be a pretty big build compared to everything else that we built so far. Uh, so, right now, the only thing that I need to do is come in here and do a little bit of a strip job. So, let me move this over and let's do it like this. So, this is gonna go up. I think we're gonna go up, this is already one. So two, three, four, I think four. I think four will be the thing. Like, see, okay, let's take this up. I don't know, I'm just experimenting now. I haven't practiced uh, this anywhere else, so we'll see how we make this. So let's see how we do it. Uh, here, I wanna do a big doorway entrance, like a big giant door. Um, so let me, you know what, really quick, let's lift all these up real fast, and then we'll see where we can take this right now. Hold on. All right, check this out. I actually changed it up. I made this into strip dark oak instead of spruce. I wanted to do that just because I wanted to use spruce right next to it to do this little archway feel right here. Uh, but if I had this stripped here and then the spruce next to it, it's too similar. I want a little bit of contrast in there. So I decided against that. So I went uh, ahead and I changed these into the dark oaks. And look how cool the mushroom stand block looks like in this. Oh, <laughs> it's so good, right? Look at that. Doesn't it feel like a little paper wall? I think it feels like a little paper wall. And I went ahead and I recessed it in by one all the way around. I need to collect a little bit more. These are, this is growing, but these need to grow real fast. I need, to, I need some more. Um, uh, but uh, we need definitely more to finish this up, but it's gonna look really, really good. Uh, especially when you push it in by one, you get that little bit of depth and it looks so good. I love it. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with this. And I'm gonna show you what kind of a, a big old circular door I'm thinking about. Watch this. So I'm gonna come in here. Uh, let's just go with regular uh, spruce for now. So see if we had the strip right next to it, it looked too similar, right? Way too similar. So I'm gonna go one, two like this. I wanna put maybe a little slab right there. Okay, watch this. And then we're gonna put a stair here, a stair here, a stair there, and there with this, the, the spruce on the bottom. And then let's take away some of these. Let's take away maybe this, maybe that guy. Let's take away this and this, and maybe that one. And let's put some of the strip we took out from the bottom. We're gonna definitely use this somewhere else. So we're gonna do that and that. And then trap doors here, 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 and there. And let's take a step back and look at it. Yes, look at that big round door, come on. It looks so cool, I love it. So we're only gonna put it here. I don't think I wanna put it in the back unless maybe later on in the future, uh, instead of having these animals just indoors all the time, maybe we could do like a little free range back door and maybe do a little step up uh, or step down, sorry, to go back here and then do some stuff on the back. We'll see, we'll see. But for now, I'm closing them in, that's fine. Uh, so the next thing, I wanna show you how I wanna do this. So I have an idea. I wanna do this little circle, but in a smaller scale. So something like this, then wrap this up in trap door like that. Not this one though. <laughs> and then do a little bit of a fence right there. What do you think? Is that cool? I like that. I love this. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Let me collect a bunch more of these bad boys. I'm gonna maybe bone meal this up, see if they work a little quicker. And then we're gonna collect a little more to see if we can wrap this stem all the way around. We're gonna need a lot, but give me a second. Let me do a little bit of grindy work and I'll be right back with you guys. Check out what's been happening so far. What do you guys think? Is this cool? So far, it's all I got, like this front part, but I've been working hard. I've been working hard and it's been looking so good. It's actually the next morning, if you hear my voice a little different, it's morning voice, a little morning raspy sausage right now. Uh, but the first thing I wanted to do, the second I woke up and start building, I wanna get this video out to you guys. I've been hard at work though, but check this out. We have this whole outline looking so good. I still gotta figure out how to enclose the animals. So I'm thinking maybe just to block them off right here um, and then have one section here one section here maybe the middle area leading up to like a spiral staircase to get to a storage on the top or something like that we'll see but I wanted to make this look a little more different but similar to the construction we have here so we have the same bottom base that we see right there on the bottom looking so good but if you notice we have a stone 
outline going around like this. So it's keeping with this theme, uh, but instead of your spruce outer border and your dark oak inner border, um, well, it's looking a little different, but similar and it's looking so cool. It looks like an actual dojo and we're not even done. We're not even close because I got to still uh, probably cap off right about here. Maybe do a cross beam up here and then do another little section for a nice little roof up top. But I love this. So imagine doing a bunch of these all around the world. And this is just the animal pen. So imagine once we get to the temple that I'm planning. I, I fell. Uh, and I'm planning a really cool temple right on top of this little mountain over there. Oh my God. I can't wait to do that. But this is what we have so far. I haven't finished this part yet. But I want to do a little bit of this on Cami Cam so you guys can see uh, how I'm doing it. It's pretty simple uh, when it comes to like the pattern. Once you do it once, you could just repeat it three, four more times. So uh, right here, this is all slab all slab down here's all stairs going around so uh let me show you and then in the corner bits we have uh, uh like a, a double right here a double slab double slab double slab so you get a little bit of a pop on the corner and then you just wrap it around so it's super simple this just gets wrapped around just like this so this one doesn't have what the other building had if you notice right in this little part optify show it ba bam 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 zoom techniques are the best though so, see the little pop up and down right there it doesn't have that it's just a straight down and i think it looks really really good like this uh maybe later on we can get more extravagant with the little uh roof details but i think having like a simple straight line uh, it's going to look pretty good because the detail is going to come in layering that we're going to do. And the second floor roof is going to look really, really awesome. So I can't wait to even start that. So this is super si I messed this up. Uh, this is super simple. This is just going to go all the way down like this. And then once we get to here, I'm popping up just like this. So we're going to go ahead now with the slab. So this slab is going to go around like so. So it's going to continue this way. This slab is also going to continue this way. And if you notice, that's almost like a placeholder block because I'm going to put another slab on top of that. So it's going to look really, really cool. This is going to go like this and it's going to continue. So let me just show you this part. Let's just repeat the rest off cami cam. So this is going to look something like so. And then once it stops here, I'm going to go in right there and add that. Go in and add that one. And then this goes up one more layer and then we just continue down this direction super simple and then over here we're gonna go with a, a double like that you see how that pops up and then in the corners we're gonna do the little trick we love to do uh and i think oh i have to actually maybe sneak this in there, there we go okay so then this goes like so upside down upside down like this that was just a placeholder because then this goes in and out and that goes just like that Oh, there we go. And then this pops out like that. That is looking so cool. Then what I'm thinking about in this little middle part, hmm, I think, I think I'm going to go with, uh, do we have any more? Okay, I got to go knock down some more of those. I got a little bit left, but I'm going to bring in this uh, white stem again. And we're going to put another little layer up top here. Maybe a little cross beam on top of this. Uh, or or maybe even, what, what do I got on me? I don't got much left. <laughs> I got to go get some more. Maybe even I could do like a double like this. Maybe two different materials go around like that. And maybe put the white in the middle. And that might be pretty cool as well. I don't know. Let me make a decision and I'll come back with you guys. And we'll work on the last roof bit on the top. And I can't wait. This is going to look so good. Look, look at this thing. Ooh, baby. All right. Construction sausage is doing construction. Check this out. Look how cool. I love this. So I'm working on the top part right now. I'm going to build this thing together right now with you guys. Uh, this roof is going to be so much fun. But look at this. So I kept that style of almost a little Tudor style. We have the dark stripped with the mushroom stem. And then we have the uh, spruce right there all stripped up with white glass. A little upside down stair in there. Can I sneak down so you can see a little bit? There we go. A little upside down stair. And then check out this part. I like this. We got mini circles now over here on this end so right there looking really really cool and it's keeping with the theme and i love it look at those tiny circles <laughs> i love it and now up here i'm working on this part so pretty much a swing around all the way around we did the little flare outs that we love to do over here i still have to do bye i still have to do these over here uh so this would pretty much go like this and this and then we'll get rid of that so i'm gonna i did one over there now this is gonna go all the way around this way as well and we're gonna do another little pop out so this goes here and here get rid of you and then bye 
let's call it <laughs> and then let's do another one here so this is super simple all i'm gonna do is coming down right like this oh and if you guys want a tutorial on this one oh man let me know down below put hashtag tutorial so i'll just hurry up uh and do it because i got this one to do the the main the first house from episode one i already did the little starter one for our girl bubbles so that one's out already so this could be the next one i'm like kitty cat i love kitty cats all right that's so cool and then we got these upside down and then this again goes boop boop and get rid of that placeholder so this swings all the way around and then we're gonna do it one more time and then this goes pretty much this all the way down like so and then on top of this I'm gonna go ahead and work out the dark oak and this is gonna be pretty cool because now this roof is gonna look different from the one we have done before but it's gonna be similar as well so you'll see what I got to do watch this so once we do with that there we go done now here watch this we're gonna go with the stair 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 and we're gonna come up on this one i'm thinking about putting a bunch of barrels in between but i think that'll be just too much material i think i'm just gonna go with the trap door lining and i think that might just do the trick uh and then let's just cap it off like that so then this one is gonna go like this then we're gonna go back this direction and then in between we're gonna come in with the dark oak and we're just gonna go straight up i'm not gonna put any windows on this uh it's gonna be just straight up make it look very very nice and pretty so then this right here is just going to go straight down just like this connecting to the other side and then once we have that we'll just repeat this same thing over here on that side and i think it's going to look really really awesome but give me a second let me finish this off and let's see what it looks like when we're done all right welcome back it's like three hours later i'm just taking a little break right now i'm over here checking to see if yoshi's still alive yes what's up yoshi that's my boy right there eventually i'm going to cure you my friend i'm going to cure you i just need to go to the nether um I don't have a portal set up. I need to go get blaze rod, blaze powder. I need to go make a whole set of stuff to cure you. But you're fine, okay? You're fine. You're safe in here. I'm just going to check on you from time to time. Yoshi Watch 2019. <laughs> Can we get a hashtag Yoshi Watch? I want to make sure he's okay. All right. Eventually, we'll cure him. But guess what? Um, yeah, I'm pretty much done. I'm done with the build. It's amazing. It is actually, right now, if I had to put a little stamp on it. All right, here's the stamp. Ready? Boop, that was a little stamp. I'm stamping it. This is one of my favorite builds of all time. I'm not even playing with you guys. I'm not even playing. I'm in love, and it's super cool. Let's go down. Um, I didn't do anything on the second floor area, and that's where you guys come in. I need to know what you guys want to see in the second floor. That is the question of the day today. I need to know. So for the next episode, I have something set up, and I think for the episode, at, uh, well, the next one, which is, yeah, the one after this one. <laughs> that's what the next episode means. I, I think we're going to go ahead and set up some kind of a next nether portal somewhere because we need to go we need to go help yoshi i think that's our top priority helping yoshi converting him into a real villager so i need to go to the nether maybe even connect our uh current location to the old location to the old kingdoms that could be a little bit better than actually having to walk all the way back because we're pretty far away but that's it let me stop talking let me stop yapping around let me show you one of my favorite builds ever right here ready one two three i can't believe this is an animal pen okay whatever ready boom oh baby let's just let's just take a quick little moment of silence can i, can I get a hashtag moment of silence let me know what you think yeah <laughs> this okay shush uh, uh, shush 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 there you go. Moment of silence over. Uh, I haven't done any terraforming. Still got to do a lot more terraforming. I did a little bit on these corners just so it can look pretty good in the front. I still got to go all the way around and wrap it around and give it a little bit more detail on the outside. I want to do another little koi pond here, maybe with a nice little tree. A little, uh, We could do our first cherry blossom-like tree in the middle, maybe right out of the water. I think that's something we could definitely set up. But check this out. I wanted to give it a little bit of detail here in this middle part because I didn't want to put a window, but I wanted to break it up. So I put some full blocks every third Oh, and that looks so cool. We went out with these little flare outs on the side, one on each side, and a little bit of a of a spiky bit in the center. And that just brings everything together. Because if we just left it plain, it would look okay. But these little flare outs, oh, that just brings it all together. And is it almost like, are you for real? Now, let's go inside. Let me show you what I've done with the interior. I think you're going to like it. I love it. Got lights all the way around like this. But check this out. Look at this. So we got the animals on this side. Oh, let me get rid of that stupid torch. I left that torch. I left it all grass in here. Whatever. Excuse me. I left it all grass. So everything look, looking pretty cool. Uh, and then everything is looking so awesome. Look how tall those that ceiling is. Um, over here, we have all of our stuff we need. We got some wheat for breeding. Nothing here yet. 
uh, all of our beef, all of our leather. On this side is the um, the mutton. We got some wool. Uh, we got more wheat, and we got some shears to shear these bad boys. We got stuff to cook. Um, in case we gotta cook. Yeah, uh, we got a little bit of potted plant action. And here's our second floor. This is where I need you guys. I don't know what to put up here. We have a whole section on this side open, ready. Look at the god rays. Woo! Uh, and then we got another little section over here. Uh, I don't know what to put. Maybe just storage? But I don't know. Let me know down below. What should I put? Put hashtag upstairs. Let me know what you want. So this is super cool. It's super dark up here. I think I might do some hanging lights, but I kind of like how uh, it's like really tall. <laughs> it looks really cool, right? Oh, man. And the sun's going down. Look how pretty. But yeah, that's it. What do you guys think? Is this cool? I think it came out so awesome. I'm so in love. Look at this thing as the sun is setting. All right. I'm going to get out of here for now. I don't want to get mauled by a crazy ocelot or something. But oh, God. And all those bad guys, too. No, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, shush your mouth. Don't slap me in my booty. Okay. What? Are you literally inside? He is inside. Um, you don't, you, there's no escaping you. Oh, you trapped. You trapped. You tra You know what? I'm going to leave you in here. Maybe we can have a, a, a phantom cage up here. <laughs> but hashtag phantom cage. All right, you know what? I'm going to leave them. I'm going to leave them. You, you, I'm going to leave you dead. That's what I'm going to leave you. Okay, you know what? Do you want to battle me? Do you want to end this episode in a battle to the death? Where is my bow? Oh, you know, what am I even playing around here for? You are get, get one shot in. Rip. Okay, I think um, I think we're good to go now. So thank you everybody for watching. I am a samurai in training. I will see you guys on the very next episode. Let me know what you want to see coming up. I'm so inspired. This building right now inspired me a thousand times before we was even built. Now I'm ready. Let's go. You know, if you think I was ready before, we're ready to build some crazy stuff now. <laughs> but thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode and have a good one. Okay, bye. Um, you guys safe down there? Everybody, everybody safe? Okay, let's go. Hi.